Hello guys and gals, me and Mudahara, and welcome back to another episode of Deep Web Browsing, Dank Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, basically the part of the internet that's a little too uh, intense for the regular part for us to browse. Uh, this is episode 51, and uh, yeah, we made it quite a long way as usual. Damn man, 51 episodes of this fucking... gosh... It's brilliant. That being said, it's just another Sunday where we explore the side of the internet. Of course, it's a little too dank. That being said, I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet just so we can get into our very first website, which just so happens to be after this cut. Oh, man, dude. You gotta love these edgy websites. Donate to kill enemies of freedoms. Our reality is like in the Middle Age, colonial politics. Time to act, or you rather wait to be the next target of CIA? Alright, you know, we gotta, we gotta fucking really clear. The CIA is not running death squads on ordinary citizens, let me, let me tell you that, okay? I'm not, I'm, by no means, don't, don't fucking listen to me and take the word for gospel. Uh, I'm just making an educated guess that the CIA isn't actively targeting uh, random people. That That's just what I think, okay? And I'm sure my educated guess works pretty pretty well here. Now let's read this. In the time when governments make propaganda and kill people without court process, in the time when Gov imprisoned Bradley Manning and torture him until he says he is guilty, in the time when they set up spies and sexual crime to imprison Julian Assange, do you that's the owner of WikiLeaks, by the way, do you really believe the government will be stopped in legal way? Government is arrogant and financed by corporations. They don't give a shit what people say. They have no problem to find judge who will persecute Bradley or Julian or anybody else in the future. It is time to organize killing of all people mixed in hunting and imprisoning freedom fighters. Even if Julian believed in Sweden, Switzerland, Island, uh, Island, I, Island. Oh fuck! No, that's. I think I think they meant to say Ireland. Blah blah. We can be smarter than he is. Did I really say Island? What the fuck? We should not believe in any country. Then we should collect money for killing all snitches. Remember, snitches get fucking bullets to the head from this website. If we don't do it. Maybe any of us is next, and then it'll- who, who, who is us? Alright, I'm not sure- dude, I sit behind a window all the goddamn time, never once did I- you know, I don't even think- no, no, okay? In the end, it is not too late to save Assange from court process, killing of Anna Arden will send him for- dude, violence is never the answer. Really, he cannot support killing publicly, but only idiot fight in legal way against CIA and their spy. If CIA kill and imprison, people must do the same. Anna and also other rats should be dead. Then Assange will be free, and Bradley could be free if somebody killed Hacker Snitch, who gave testimony against him. For Bradley, it is too late, but it is not for Julian. If thousands of supporters of WikiLeaks give five doll, dude, holy fucking shit! I'm getting like made. You guys ever like browse Wikipedia? I think it's always during like September season when they have the like little donation run, and like fucking you know. You have the don't you have like a fucking thirty three percent takeover by the donation. It's like if if every Wikipedia user donated one dollar, we'd never have to ask for donations again in the next hour. It's, it's it reminds me of that shit, dude. We can order killings. I know criminals. It is not the problem. To, what are we giving money to you? Oh, how do we know you're actually gonna get the criminals to do what you say? I believe that Anna Arden in Stockholm should be the first one. Another girl, second one. Snitch you sent Manning. Okay. This guy has his own personal agenda, dude. Alright, so what is this? Uh, donate for freedom. Don't be good for government. Don't believe in legality. We must fight against CIA in any way. I'm sure it's, it's not just the CIA, dude. There's gotta be, like, other organizations in the world. The Mossad, the ISI, the MI6. Come on, man. What the fuck? What is it? What, why does everyone just have a hard-on for the Americans here? So for... I'm not American myself. I'm just saying. It's a fucking coinky dink, ain't it? So for Anna, the price is 25,000 euro. Ooh. After that, we can collect money for another target. Here's my email for contact, protectfreedom at ruggedinbox.com. My BTC address will be gift to those who contact me for donation. That's all. Save freedom fighters. Donate for killing. What the fuck, dude? This is fucked up. <laughs> that whole last, that, just that last sentence. Hell, if you even read it out of context, it's fucked up. But even if you read it in context, it's still fucked up, dude. So, like, of course, <laughs> I don't, like, <laughs> I like showing you these guys, these sites, because, like, it's like the, it's like going on, it's like finding any weird website, you know, like, if you clicked on this randomly and read this, like, at two in the morning, this would be really fucking weird, and that's the kind of stuff that I like showing to you a lot, too, is the really, like, <laughs> stuff that you read on here sometimes, man, so apparently this person is running a, uh, donation scheme 
for you to for you to crowdfund assassination. It's basically like a fucking shitty Kickstarters of assassinations. You know when we did those internet wonders and shit? Fuck. It's kind of like that, man. It's it's like the shitty Kickstarter of assassinating fucking CIA gentlemen and women. Fuck, man, dude. Is it time to act? Or you rather wait to be next target of CIA? Who here is afraid of the CIA of being the target of the CIA? Please let me know in the comments below. Then I'll know that this is a legitimate thing to be fearful about, okay? And please, don't don't put a Lenny face at the end. That totally doesn't make... Yeah, just put a Lenny face. I don't know, dude. Whatever. <laughs> this is fucking weird. <laughs> Let's get out of here and see the next site. So I just wanted to, like, go over, like, some of the boards where I find a lot of the deep web videos out of. Uh, this is a board dedicated to just, like, videos on the deep web. Like, this is where people share... A lot of fucking videos. Now, I'm going to go over some of them. There's a lot of categories which are really, really bad. Uh, for those people who are looking over here, they actually have Onion links as well that you can look into. I might I might have to might have to really fire that up. But they got a lot of... Uh, they, they, they do everything. A lot of the stuff on the deep web is completely unfiltered. Um, so you can, you can see a lot of weird pedo stuff too. And it's not hard to get to these areas. These are just simple boards that are easily indexed. Uh, some of these boards are relatively fine, such as uh, Cat Pictures, which uh, is literally just cat pictures. Like, it seems wherever you go, everyone loves cute little cats. I love cats. Come on. Who doesn't love cats? Cats are cute. And then you got, like, fucking categories that I, I have no fucking idea about. Like, of course, some of these are pedophile categories. I don't know what the fuck PH is. I, I, don't, I, what, I don't know what the fuck ARC is. But a lot of these actually host videos you can find. However, you have to be careful about which videos you can find. Uh, thankfully, my entire time never come across any sort of illicit, really illicit videos. Um, because usually they get sectioned out. Um, but a lot of these actually host like really, really weird videos. Some of them, like a lot of them are fucking dash cam footages of... I don't know, I guess a lot of people, like, from Russia are really into, like, driving or, like, putting a dash cam on their vehicle, just, like, recording random shit and then posting it everywhere. Um, a lot of them are mirrors to other sites and whatnot, but yeah, this is where, like, sites like these are where you can find a lot of videos from. There's no, like, Tor YouTube.com that you can go to to find, you know, fucking videos up the ass. You, you gotta go look through boards like these or IRC channels where people are willing to share uh, links to these chan sites and basically you know chan sites of course they're image board sites like 4chan or 8chan or you know whatever fucking chan you want so you just have to find this is like fucking infinity chan and i'm pretty sure this has like a clear web link of it too so this is probably just an onion you know referral site or something like that that being said though i just wanted to make a point of where these websites sort of come from that being said let's go to uh something else Fucking Satanism, general Satanism talk, Stanism, whatever you want to call it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Satanic board, and uh, boy, am I excited. Now, I'm looking through some of this to see if it has any sort of really illicit materials. Now, I'm not seeing any penises or cutoff heads, so we're kind of good. But uh, this is a board dedicated to Satanism, and it's relatively healthy as far as I've seen, but I've also never seen it indexed before. Uh, but here we go, of course, you can see by the date it's June 06, 2016, which is not a long time ago. People are, this is a board, again, dedicated to Satanism, general Satanism talk. People here are sharing uh, BitBlender, which is a lot, a lot of people on the deep web really share, like, Bitcoin mining, like, like Bitcoin laundering uh, websites. I guess people really get enthralled into that whole sort of lifestyle. Then they have uh, Darknet Market Invites, where you can get invites to places such as Valhalla, Alpha Bay, Tachka. By the way, if you ever go to these sites, and first of all, don't do commit anything illegal by buying illegal stuff, but always check for their PGP keys as well and see if they verify. They also have Pizzata. Somebody wrote that. I have no idea what the fuck Pizzata is. <laughs> Somebody wrote an actual poem here? What the fuck? What is this? Ocean Man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land, that you understand. Ocean Man, the voyage to the corner of the globe and the real trip. Ocean Man, the crust of a tan man, imbibed by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean Man, can you see through the wonder of amazement at the Oberman? Ocean Man, the crust is elusive when it casts forth to the childlike man. Ocean Man, the sequence of a life form, braised in the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean Man, post too long, click here to view the full text. Uh, I don't know, this guy really likes Ocean Man, and Ocean Man mean, means a lot to, uh, well, the actual person who posted this is fucking Ocean Man. Well, 
I'm glad to see Ocean Man's a little fucking poet and shit, too. Uh, Anonymous writes, thoughts on sadism. Anonymous responds back, for sexual pleasure, it's fucking great. And then this person, Ocean Man, fucking shares a YouTube link. Uh, I don't know if I want to open that YouTube link. That's uh, Give me a second. Let me see this. What is this? It's like firing up. Is, is this is this Ocean Man's dirty? Oh. Oh, if the owner of the video has granted you access. Ooh, the video is private. Damn, son. We're going to back out of that. That's weird. Ocean Man, you sick. What are these sharing? Ocean footage? Now, of course, I have something called the Good Men Project on YouTube. Ocean Man's fucking sharing his... Ocean Man, how are we going to see your YouTube channel if you're fucking, you know, if you're just segmenting it to... Come on. Now, apparently somebody writes, Iami has become Catholic. I feel this is a meme that I should be getting, but I'm not. Uh, this guy's name is Ha, ha Sex. Oh, there he is. It's the same character with a gun. All right. Most of you, oh shit, this guy's fighting back. Most of you motherfuckers have no clue what Satanism even is. Talking about praying to Satan and shit, if you did any am tiny amount of research, you find that sat Satanism is just about atheism. You don't pray to anyone or anything. It's about self-love. And somebody writes, if you did a little research, you should know that what you're talking about is modern Satanism, not theistic Satanism. Maybe you should Google theistic research you start talking about things you don't know nothing about. And then Anonymous, I don't know if the guy responded. Oh, no, he wrote to 20. He directed it to 24. He writes, fuck off, retard. Whoa. Am I witnessing a uh, satanic turf war here? Spooky. I am no devil follower, but I love this site. And you're anonymous. Fuck your. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, man. It could be anything. What the fuck? Okay, so after this, they've got uh, other areas. They have a triple X board. I'm not going to click on the triple X board because we're not allowed to show you triple X board. Yeah, this is, I swear I've heard the name Satanic Sanctuary before. Let me go on to the news real quick and see what these guys are all about. Ah, well, apparently they have no news, uh, but they do say, Welcome back, fellow Satanists. Well, thank you. Here, let's open up. Let's go to random chat real quick. What's random chat all about? Uh, random chat mentions dark... Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, I remember these sites. What the fuck? Yeah, they have Darknet Market invites. <coughs> they have Scream Bitch, which is a forum dedicated to sharing some gore porn. And they have Mankind's Habit. Remember that site we looked at a long time ago with, like, the fucking gore pornography? It's got that. Uh, it's darkness, but I am no one trust. Okay? How can I trust you or Dave? Who's up for joining a theistic community? It means you have to start posting stuff, anything you like. Hi everyone, ho ho ho, Leviathan writes 666, 666, 666, hilarious and fucking original. Let's go to the next page real quick. It's been a while since we looked at a forum for these guys too. Like it's, it's actually, it's actually really nostalgic. Alright, nothing, nothing really more. These guys are like fucking bipolar with each other and I really don't know how to feel about that. Let's go to the sick room. I feel like I'm going to find some really disgusting shit here. Well, it's the same stuff. It's, it's the Darknet Market. Kurt Cobain suicide. For, oh man, they're fucking sharing that shit. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, if I ask for you consent, oh dude, what the fuck? I want to be by women and animals. Oh, what the fuck, man? That's fucked up. What is this? Oh, oh fuck, dude. These guys are sharing some really, really weird shit. What the fuck? Wait. Sat sit. Oh god, dude. This is the same fucking... This is the IgG version. This is like the really fucked up version of the game, too. The one that installs a fucking keylogger into your system. That's fucked up, dude. I can tell by the file. Oh, man. Whew, this fucking chilling shit. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to come back to this site, man. This is, uh... This is, like, really, really... This is actually really fucking sick. Uh, some of the stuff they're sharing over here... It's not good, man. Uh... 
That actually brought back some pretty bad memories. I mean, fuck, that was that was a pretty fucked up game, dude. When we when we played at that time, uh, I think I'm gonna back out. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end this, and uh, I think I think we've seen everything from the uh, satanic boards. I think we're gonna back out, and we're gonna go do something else. We're gonna go see uh, we're gonna go see some other shit. Um, we're gonna go to a different site, man. Something that's hopefully way fucking. Whew, that was fucked up, dude. That brought back some bad memories, dude. That game was fucked up, man. And the uncensored edition is one like filled with gore and like, you know, some really it's it's a bad foot. Don't don't do it, okay? Whatever you do, do not download a game like that and just just don't don't delve into really illegal shit like that, dude. It's it's fucked up. Let's go to another site. I never knew Windows XP became a professional at this kind of stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Windows XP Professional Services. And uh, it's kind of funny when you got to name yourself after an outdated operating system. And by no means am I offering Windows XP any disrespect. I actually have an old computer running Windows XP right now. Windows XP, very reliable operating system. So I hope the person offering these services is also as reliable. What kind of services do I offer? I offer a verite of different services, such as web development. I can make you a simple website like mine for you to offer your services on. I can offer advice or for whether a site is, what is this guy, like the fucking, what is he, the advisor? This helps keep you from getting spammed. Middleman services, I can relay orders for people to you for a specific, hey, I already got a lad named Lester covering that. Basic hacking tutorials. I will write you tutorials for basic hacking. How can you contact me? The Windows XP at Sagaint.org. By the way, I've been giving Sagaint a lot of shit for not being legit. Um, you know, I can't really confirm to you guys, but I'm just going to go with a limb on my end and say they're pretty legit too. Uh, I've talked with a couple people over here. They filled me in on some information. Um, but, you know, as far as I know, believe what you want, but I've been giving Sagaint a lot of unnecessary shit. Uh, I think they're, they're, they're a pretty legit service, you know, a lot of people have been using them, so I can't really, you know, say that they're, you know, fucking honeypot or some shit like that, but, anyways, that being said, my little, uh, my little update aside, payment, I only accept Bitcoin and will provide you a payment address via email. I also allow the use of a trusted escrow service if you wish to use one. More about the services I offer. So, web development, the guy's been doing web development for a couple of years and can make you a nice little website. Cost will bear, I don't think a website like this really takes much at all. I mean, I, I don't really know much about web dev myself, but fuck, we made sites like this all the time in fucking beginner level high school web development. That This isn't difficult. Uh, scam or not, I've been around Tor for a long time. I can, wait a second, I can tell you, I can easily determine whether a service is legit or not. You can sub to the service for 20 a month. So for 20 bucks a month, you can basically get this guy's word if sites are legit or not. Of course, I don't think it's, I don't know. I guess you're still relying on this person's uh, assessment, but you know, they might, they might know their shit where very well. I will definitely say that. Middleman services. I made a lot of contacts on tour and can get you stuff for you and keep you from getting scammed. I can get you drugs, counterfeits, credit cards, PayPal, uh, special request availability vary. Basic hacking tutorials. This guy can actually write you uh, in-depth details for a variety of things, such as phishing, social engineering, staying hidden, rats, etc. That's that's actually really cool. Okay, that's that's definitely something. So if you go to the uh, contact section, I'm I'm sure it's just going to tell us about his fucking site and whatnot, uh, payment and more. Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, the website is only this page. Really, these are just like little uh, areas to make you go to certain uh, page dimensions that's about it okay but that was windows xp professional services nothing uh too exciting but i kind of like showing you guys all these different services because that's what a lot of the deep web is it's stores it's services the odd occasional uh, crowdfunding assassination website and uh that's really about it sometimes you might come across something spooky like a chan board or the fucking you know satanic chan boards that we just witnessed but ultimately, that's really what the deep web consists of, lads and ladettes and lassies and everything, whatever. I know I fucked that up before. But uh, that being said, that was Windows XP Professional Services. Who knows? In the next coming uh, weeks, we might find Windows 7 Pro Services. Or maybe Windows 10 Pro Services. Or 8.1 Pro. I don't know. Or Mac OS X, for all we care about. Fuck. Anything gonna happen, dude. <laughs> Let's go to the next site. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is our deep web video for the week. 
This is a 2 minute and 38 second video. Um, not much I can really say on it other than, you know, it's another deep web video that we've, uh, you know, procured. And ultimately, without leaving this introduction longer than it ever has to be, I'm going to start this video. Let me just max out the volume and hit play. Starts off in black. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Dude, there's somebody in the fucking staircase area, like, under there. What the fuck? That was weird. It's got a bunch of, like, weird NES sound effects. Get a truck back and get her. Page posts? Doors opening. God, this fucking buzzing is pissing me off. It's loud no matter what. Dude, those are like prostitute ads. What does it mean by free doll? Teenies. Wait, what is what is this shit? like a bunch of shots of these fucking back page ads. Dude, I swear, it's gonna be the first fucking screen to do this fucking freaks me the fuck out. What are those runaways? God, man, fuck. Sex with any girl? What the fuck? See those goddamn eyes? Is that a fucking catch? What a... Okay. Well, let me tell you something right now. This definitely seems fucking super fake to me. Um, let me to tell you what I saw from all this, okay? This is one of those edgy videos that, like, everyone... I feel like this is mirrored somewhere. But this is one of those edgy videos that got posted, first of all. Let me tell you why I think it's highly fucking fake. Uh, first of all, alright, uh, the video is definitely fucking creepy without a doubt, alright? Like, if I watch this without recording right now, without, without all these lights on, yeah, I'd kind of feel fucking freaked out a little bit, you know what I mean? It's, it's the music that really fucks me up the most than it is the visual side. But uh, let's go over this video piece by piece. Let's actually, you know, really try giving it the analysis that we obviously want to give it to, you know what I mean? Obviously, a big part of these is analysis. Let's look into it real quick. I got to tell you guys, first off, the lighting is well done, all right? As a fucking film dude myself, this this lighting on the side over here, the way it's handled, I know, like, the quality isn't necessarily great, um, mostly because, you know, obviously the DVD, it has to have a certain, you know, amount of file size for you to download it, but... Uh, the lighting, like, I know it doesn't, of course, look high quality, but it's fairly high quality for something that you find on the deep web. And the actual lighting used over here, like, that's really well done, by the way. That's actually really interesting. I think they used a light kit and just shot it at, like, fucking what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the exact... It's high Kelvin. It's basically fucking incandescent. Um, behind here, I feel like there's something sitting... But, of course, with the low resolution, you can't obviously tell. It weirds me out what the fuck could even be there. But, uh, continuing on. Okay, they got, like, weird sound effects. Like, NES sound effects and shit. What also really weirds me out is, like, some of these, like, fucking shots and stuff. I'm trying to find one. Uh. 
yeah, like fucking pictures shot of families and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, then they got this free doll stuff, which, like, like some of these, like, this is obviously like prostitution ads, you know what I mean? Like ads, like, like you got, you guys ever been to like back page sites and stuff and seen like prostitution ads and whatnot? Like sites where, you know, escort, escort services exist and shit. And then they mentioned like girls in trouble. So it's like partially news headlines as well. Something broken over here. Fucking that's fucked up, dude. Knockout safe to use they have like sex it's obviously very sexually oriented um i think this is like a sex formula or something like that like super viagra or whatever the fuck it is that freaked me out initially but that obviously is a cat or a dog um that's really the only like only thing i can give you guys that's a cat or a dog um over here obviously not much to say but then they ends up with the with the number 79.95 per tape which, you know, could be pornography or something like that, too. Pe people sell stuff. But the usage of the term tape, I mean, it kind of weirds me out because it's like, was this shot, like, a long fucking time ago where tape was, a, like, tape was a mainstream method of selling shit? Which, okay, then, you know, it was shot a while back. I don't know. But to me, this whole thing seems really fake, and partially because it's really high quality, first of all, for something like this. Uh, B... Yeah, high quality in the sense that it was shot well, it, it was lit well, and it was edited well together as well, too. So, you know, whoever did this had some good finesse in these skills. Uh, number two, you know, even the use of that Dutch tilt was a fucking... <laughs> it's kind of a weird sign, too, but I can see why it was used. Uh, number two is... I don't know, it just seems like a fucking weird, edgy art project to me as well, too. That's that's one thing that just screams at me, and I have no basis to say that, but it just screams, I'm an edgy art project, right in my face. So that's that's one of the things hitting me personally. Uh, another thing, too, is that, like, some of these ads seem like they're totally created, like, fake. Because, like, these are the kind of ads you see in, like, movies and shit, you know what I mean? Like, really pop out, you know, big virgin kind of stuff. You wouldn't really even see this on a back page of something. So it just seems like it's shot really well. It's created really well. You know, fucking Latini, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's It definitely is, like, faked out. Like, it really does seem really, really fake. Uh, but what could it mean? You know, is, is this another one of those arc type situations where somebody's trying to spook us? Is there something going on? You know, is this some fucking weird, like, sexually deprived serial killer? Who really knows? But to me personally, it seems fake. Like, really fucking fake. Um, but I can't, you know, obviously I can't say that for sure. Who knows? The guy behind this video might be some weird type of killer. But to me, it just seems like a very well-shot, well-produced art piece. And I also feel like there's more to this video. Like, there's there's more to this, and this is just, like, a really small section of it. Other than that, though, well, well done, well crafted, I have to say. Very, very well crafted. But ultimately to me, and from what I can really say, it does look fake, but it did give me the spooks. And compared to some of the other videos you've seen before, it definitely, you know, shut me up and I had to really give it my full attention. And it did legitimately creep me out. Was it as creepy as, you know, fucking the, uh, the blank, room, blank Room Soup video? No, not, not, not close. Was it even as creepy as that weird, like, Outlast two-footed shit? No. But was it creepy in its own, like, storytelling arg way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. But, uh, yeah, that was our video for the week. And I'm going to end it on that note. I've already said my piece. Let's go to the uh, next thing on this fucking adventure. I'm going to back out of this. Definitely an interesting video, but I feel like it's fake, for sure. But a very well-produced fake. Got to give props on whoever made it for that. And if it turns out to be real by any occasion, holy fucking shit, I hope whoever's involved in the bad side of this is safe. Please, please God, let that be a case. Let's go to something else. All right, everyone, I talked about the order of, talked about the Epsilon cult from GTA 5 earlier, and next thing you know, we find the order of Epsilon. So as far as I can tell, this is a website of people who actually think they're like legitimate wizards and witches, not like, not like the uh, paganist style, we're talking about like... Like, legit, the Hogwarts kind, apparently? I don't know. As far as I've seen, there's, like, people talking about that these people really think they're, like, the Hogwarts types of uh, witches and wizards with the Wingardia Leviosa kind of stuff. I don't know. But it seems it's it's basically a cult site uh, calling themselves the Order of Epsilon. And the site actually looks fairly 
active, um, fairly active for, I guess, a site like this anyways. Uh, there's about 611 posts. It was last updated May 24, 2016, so it's relatively healthy in that regard. Uh, total members that exist are 89 members. The last member was Mark222. Give it up to Mark222. And the most users ever online was on March 20th, 2016. At almost 6 in the morning, 23 people were active. Now, this forum's been up for about 11 months and 7 days. These people are actually typing in this uh, sort of chat area over here. Uh, and you can actually, I think you can just type it in anyways. You can just shout and type whatever the hell you want. Uh, shout as, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if we should, I don't know if we should say, I don't know if we should shit post. Uh, this looks like a pretty serious fucking cult, man. Come on. I don't really know what to write anyways, but uh, they've got some introductions. Let's read some of these fancy introductions. I always love reading these like forum websites because, you know, forum websites are cool. You know, you can find some individuals that are really uh, sort of cool on here. <laughs> they got, uh, let's see, this is by Shadow. It's pretty fucking edgy, by the way. Let's uh, actually, let's click on something with replies too, because I don't want to see somebody just writing. So I am recruited and was asked to come here. I'm 24 and my favorite kines kin kinesis ki can it, can it, fuck man, I, I cannot read right now, I'm fucking tired of shit. And the one I am better at is Umbra Kinesis, Kine, yeah, it's Kinesis, Kines, what, what am I, can, what can I not read? It is very nice to meet all of you. Oh dude, this is freak, that's literally like fucking Epsilon cult level shit, dude. Hi, you are one of the test guys, aren't you? What is this? Yes, I am. Can you tell me more about what you guys are doing here? Uh, I think we have to finish the test before we get any information. Oh, so there's tests involved for this. Very secretive cult. Very secretive. All right, let's read one with other replies. This has fucking twelve replies. It's actually locked. It's the uh, it's the ellipses. I think a fucking what is this? Can we can we not open the thread? No, I think I think we can. Here we go. Uh, greetings. I have just been informed of this recent place. Uh, I need to speak with who is in charge. You can speak to me, and I will direct your message to the administrator. And who are you exactly? I have no time for this. I have to speak to who is in charge of this place as soon as possible. This guy's like, no, you will speak to me, bitch. All right, and it's like, it's nothing personal, but it's a very important matter. And this guy's like, well, this is strange. He's a teacher of cryokinesis, by the way. You can freeze your ass. All right, this is the CT Nexus unit, fucking special ops and shit. Further violation of privacy and direct authority was on permanent ban user holistic hallucination. Wow, he sounds serious. Fuck off, you don't scare me. I'm bringing this place down. I have banned the user for three days. Damn, man. There's some fucking wars that happen here. Man, what is this juicy drama that happens up here? I love it. All right, well, let's look up into more of this. Now, apparently, that was the only one with replies. Let me go to this one. This is greetings by some people. Actually, I'll, I'll click on some without any replies. This is the new feature of the Order of Epsilon. Thank you, Admin, for making it a reality. I'm making you Archmage of the Forum. This is a great responsibility. I hope you guide our brothers correctly. What is this? I need to understand. What is introducing myself, actually? Let me... Ah, god damn it, I can't open it properly, damn it, fucking mouse. My name is Christopher, I'm 16, living in America, my kinesis is umber kinesis, Manipul manipulation of shadow and darkness. I'm interested in this forum and learning more things I know, you know what, I'm pretty sure, you know, I want to learn more about this, what do these people have? I want to see it, man, like, this, I'm open-minded, I want to see what this kind of shit is about, actually, but there's not really enough information being tossed out, which kind of sucks. Uh, what is this, uh... This this person is 28 in Australia. Owen, uh, everyone, oh, they want to learn cryokinesis. Okay. Oh, uh, you know, I want to see what this stuff is about, actually. This really seems genuinely interesting. Usually, you know, like, I'll give it a fair rip, but, like, I'm open-minded, man. I kind of want to read some of this shit, too, because, like, this seems pretty cool. What is this, A1? Huh? I've been advised to watch over this forum. Will you watch it, Mr. CT Nexus Unit? We're all spooked. What is this? Uh, A2, oh, CT Nexus unit again. C CT Nexus unit is a fucking lord and savior for this forum, okay? He's the moderator that everyone needs. This person writes, good day to everyone. So many intelligent beings taking part in the new dawn of the Order of Epsilon. Together we will go far. I, we will go far and beyond. Dude, what? I, I really want to know more about this, actually. This is something really, really cool. Uh, let me go back to the main uh, entrance hall area. Let me see the rules. Of the, I don't know if the rules, in fact, should show me, but the navigation page might. Well, this apparently doesn't work. Uh, oh, this is just forum navigation, dude. That's 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 not what I... I want to know more about this area, though. And apparently it seems like they all might talk about shit that is just, like... Fu it seems like everyone might just talk about stuff that's honestly like everything else but what you want to know. Oh, the board is password protected. Okay. 
So I, oh, damn, I need a passcode to access this? What? Dude, if I, oh man, we better find some stuff. What is testing ground? No, that's also password protected. Holy shit. What? Public communications. Uh, ask communic ask questions and speak to Oh, it's also password protected, man. Fuck. This is a really secretive community. School of Kinesis? Socialization room, teaching hall. Oh, it seems like you can't even access half this stuff, dude. Remote viewing? What? What do these people do? Wait, applications. I kind of want to see applic- Oh, what? I can't even apply it, but I Come on, man. They've got literature. I'm pretty sure you can't access any of this shit because it's also password protected, right? Okay. Astral research, astral school, applications, CT Nexus Center. It's like they're fucking special ops. What? Test arrival? Oh, we don't have permission. Dude, this is a really secretive group. What is the what is a guest guest meeting hall? Guest conversation. Let me see this. What is this forum about? This is the official forum of the Order of Epsilon. If you want to know more, message me. I think I might have to message this dude, dude. Anyone can join in. Please registrate an account. Having a guest place is a great idea. How do I registrate my account? Hit register. So, I don't know if I'm going to register right now, but this is like... What is this, dude? What? What am I looking at? This is This is actually really interesting. I don't even know what to really say, but... I want to know more about the Order of Epsilon, like, people are practicing something, but it's so secretive. And it's because of the secretive nature that I'm so, like, excited about this kind of stuff, too. Because I, I want to know what's behind the locked door. And I don't think it's, like, anything creepy, like, you know, human sacrifice. I think it's just, like, a bunch of really open-minded people sharing some, you know, kind of really supernatural, cool tips and stuff. I kind of want to know it. I really do. It's kinda, this is actually really cool. But, uh... <laughs> I'm going to back out of this. This has been a pretty cult-heavy episode, I guess you could say. You got a whole lot of stuff peppered in, such as assassinations and, like, crowdfunded and all that kind of crap. Um, but, yeah, no, we're going to we're gonna back out of the Order of Epsilon. Really interesting. Anybody has any more information about this, let us know in the comments below. That would be very much appreciated. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to back out of the uh, Order of Epsilon. All right, everyone. That is the end and conclusion of our Deep Web episode of the week. Pretty lengthy recording, actually. We found some interesting stuff, so yeah, it's time to take this to the edit and see uh, just how this episode turns out. But I think it's a pretty interesting episode. Uh, it's been a while since we looked at a lot of cults and whatnot, and I definitely love looking at cults too, by the way. They have a definite, like, interesting side to them. Uh, we found a pretty secretive group. I want to know more about that group. We found an interesting art project on the internet. But that being said, this is the end of our video for this week. So if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This has been Deep Web episode number 51. And this is me, Mudahar, and I am out. And thank you for watching.